Hi, I'm Connie Schroeder, Senior Product Manager for Single and Multi-Zone Ductless Systems, and with me today is our Ductless Product Specialist, John Pratt. Daikin is the largest AC manufacturer in the world, and we're here today to talk a little bit about R32 and how to work with it. R32 is a low GWP refrigerant and has been chosen by Daikin to be our next generation refrigerant for ducted and ductless, residential, light commercial, and applied products in North America. Daikin has sold approximately 23 million units of R32 residential air conditioners and heat pumps in more than 90 countries and regions. Combined with sales from other manufacturers, more than 140 million R32 units have been sold worldwide. So John, we have an R32 mini split here and R32 is an A2L refrigerant type. So when working with an A2L system, do I need to purchase any different tools? Yes, there was actually one extra adapter I needed um, to go on my R32 tank. In addition to that, um, you want to verify that your tools are um, certified for use with A2L refrigerants, that your vacuum pump has an oil backflow preventer in it, and um, that your recovery machine is certified for use with A2L refrigerants. So we'll have everything we need from working with our port today, just a little bit of homework needed to check for that compatibility. That's right. So what do I need to pay attention to when it comes to safely handling A2Ls? When it comes to safely handling A2L refrigerants, um, always follow local codes. And when it comes to storage, transportation, and handling of it, um, verify safe handling and storage with local codes and standards. So what about the process of charging? Is it done the same way? Yes, the process for charging R32 is the same as R410A. Um, I'm gonna verify um, what the system is pre-charged for in this case. Um, this system is pre-charged for 49.2 feet. Anything after 49.2, then you'll add refrigerant. If your line set is shorter than 49.2 feet, um, you won't have to add any refrigerant. Um, and then you'll simply add 0.22 ounces per foot for every foot after 49.2 feet. All right. Does it take any longer to do a charge with R32? No, it takes the exact same amount of time. Perfect. So I can essentially get the same amount of work done? Mm-hmm. Very good. So thinking a little bit more about installation, what do I need to know for R32? So the same principles that apply to 410A will apply to R32. Um, the system should be clean, tight, and dry. Um, we're going to use the same flaring tools, same 410A flaring tool, 45 degree, same flaring block. Um, we're going to pressure chest to 550 PSI, and we're gonna do a triple evacuation on the system to ensure that the system is clean, tight, and dry, and in accordance with uh, industry best practices and standards. All right, well, thanks, John, our product specialist. Now, just to recap, R32 is an efficient, single component refrigerant, but it does require knowledge and skills to work with it. Pressure testing to 550 PSI with dry nitrogen and triple evacuation must be completed according to best practices in the industry. Uh, as we mentioned, the tools are the same except for an additional left-handed thread adapter. And Daikin recommends a dedicated tool set including gauges for working on Daikin equipment. You're gonna to wanna to verify that your vacuum pump and recovery machine are certified for use with A2Ls. As John mentioned, the process of charging R32 mini splits are the same as charging an R410A mini split system, and it takes the same amount of time to complete. When installing, you need to make sure the system is clean, tight, and dry. And remember to check with those local codes for proper storage and transportation of all A2Ls. So thanks for joining us for this R32 update. For more information about R32, you can visit r32reasons.com. And we look forward to introducing R32-based products to the North American market very soon. Thanks, everyone.